Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTube reactor. And uh, this is very different than my normal setup. So I'm sorry if you can hear wind and birds and maybe cars and stuff going by, but uh, as many of you know, I'm currently in rehearsals for Sunset Boulevard at the Regional Theater of the Palouse in Pullman, Washington. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. The theater is wonderful. Uh, we open in just under two weeks, so it's kind of a busy time. So uh, I was able to find some time today to be able to record some reactions and get these done. But uh, this is kind of the place where I knew I would have light. <laughs> you could actually see me. So sorry if there's any um, background noise, but you know, we're just gonna roll with it because that's what we do. That's what Sedgehogs do. That's how we thrive on this channel. Speaking of thriving, I am very excited to get back to Dimash and discover a new song. This has been really, really recommended. Now I wanna, I wanna add a caveat here before I jump into this, which is, a lot of you want me to see the Ave Maria vocalized, and I've seen it. I did not do a reaction to it. I was um, I was working on a film in Cincinnati that was uh, really sad, <laughs> and we shot this scene that was really really sad, and uh, I needed something to kind of pick me up after it. It was really really heavy, and uh, someone had just tweeted me the link and I just watched it and it was what I needed then. So sorry, you're, you're not gonna get a first time reaction to it. Maybe at some point I'll do a reaction about the vocalization and about the staging of it and whatnot, but um, I don't like, you know, I, I want to preserve the first time reaction um, kind of spirit of things, if that makes sense. So that's um, why we're jumping onto this, but I've heard great things about this. I don't know anything about it. I don't know if this is an original song or anything like that, but it's Dimash, so it should be um, spectacular. I think I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, so before we jump in though, I do want to of course say thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for enabling me to, um, have opportunities like this and do the auditions and get to experience beautiful places. And if you want to see more about this beautiful place, you can see some of the videos I've recently posted. Uh, I also recently posted a behind the scenes interview on the sad movie that I filmed. And uh, you can see all that kind of stuff on my profile. I'm not going to waste too much more of your time with it. But before we start, let's go ahead and fix our posture. Um, this, uh, this wicker chair is going to be interesting to have good posture in. But uh, we're embracing it. We're embracing it. So, uh, yeah, let's just let's jump in and let's discover some new Dimash. Okay, a little bit more of a driving beat than what we're used to with him. I like it though. Look at the lights. Bluish green tint with the red is cool. Oh, look at that costume. Far away. All my troubles far away. Fly away. Close my eyes and fly away. You stay, I was nice. better running high. You stay, run away, it's not so hard. Yeah, so uh, right off the bat, he's in this pure white suit. He's got a very cool attitude physically that matches with the costume. It's this very suave, sly type thing that's going on. And the dancers, I don't think I've ever seen him perform with background dancers. I've seen background choirs. I can't think of ever having seen a background dance group with him but it fits this kind of more pop vibe i really liked the swell right before he started singing where it kind of took it from almost like you're listening to music in a different room and they kind of swapped those channels took away the compression and it's right there in your ears and then he's doing the kind of classic vocalized dimash fry that he does where he does like the fly away and he like vocalizes the breath and it sounds really cool every time but with this it's it's got a very cool um you know, I think of Be With Me as being his James Bond vibe, and it's not that, but this sort of feels like Miami, Florida. Like, I get, like, a very Miami vibe with this. I don't know if it's just the white with the hat, with the suit, but he's he's got a very 
controlled way that he's stepping too. It's very careful, um, and, and that that physical embodiment of that is matching really well with the mood of the music and the song itself. Oh, look at that dance. That's good. Oh, cool. Pulling back. Dutch angle. Yeah, let's talk about that. So, jumping into the chorus to have it go down to piano, it's the little things like that that he does artistically that, that almost um, defy your expectation. You hear where you think it's going, and he takes it in a new way, or he does exactly what you think he's gonna do. But because he also takes it in new directions half the time, every time it's a surprise. And that's really, really enjoyable to listen to than just knowing where it's gonna go every time. That's really, really cool. Also, the camera work to come in on a Dutch angle, that's gonna be a steady cam operator who's holding the camera here and pushing in, knowing exactly when that light's gonna come up to get a lens flare as it hits the camera. Look at all these lights here spraying out toward the audience. Again, it has a very um, beach city type vibe, even in the way that he's sort of dancing with it. It's very, um, not stilted, but very contemporary dance, even in his physical movements of the way the song is going, and it's really matching well. Nice ripple dance with it, yeah. Yeah, so with how um, stilted a lot of the, the verses are, uh, I can't remember what all the words were, but like, perfect person, perfect world. Like, it's very, very rhythmic, very quarter note, very kind of slow rhythmic rhythms with it. And then it goes, think about the need to be loved. Like, that's, it's, it kind of makes you want to move with it. I've never heard him do this style of song. Uh, I think Golden and Be With Me were the first time I kind of heard him step away from the more operatic style music uh, and to hear him do more of a pop type sound with this is really really cool it just shows his range that his voice does fit into all these things but it still sounds like him like there's no question that it's Dimash uh, and that's really cool he's just got such a diverse range within his voice I love what the dancers are doing I love 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 the kind of turquoise and red happening in the background it's very disconcerting visually the colors kind of clash with each other and him being in white helps him pop out and stand out from it. This is a really unique performance from him. I've never seen him do anything like this. This is really unique. I really like it. Anyway, why we have to lie every day? Why we need to stay? If you don't want to stay, dancers are doing a good job too. Oh, cool. Nice, more into hip hop style dance. Nice. Great dancing, great dancing there. And Dimash, knowing that he's the, the center point of it, so he doesn't ha have to engage with the dance in that way, but still doing so. Still really stepping into it and feeling it with them, aiding them in certain moments, throwing the song and almost the, throwing the attention to them. The dancers have been doing a lot of this contemporary, slower style stuff, and then it gets to this chorus, and it's 
da 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 like it's very hip hop style dance much more modern uh, oh it's modern contemporary is modern but less lyrical more hip hop style and that's really cool to see i'm really intrigued by the lines on the stage here so what they're trying to imply as far as i can tell is that these lights you see coming from the top are shooting down across the stage because they match up perfectly with that but i actually think that those are lights under the stage floor and the reason for that is if you look underneath Dimash his shadow isn't on them I don't see his like I see his shadow coming forward but it's not blocking out the green so I actually think that might be underneath the stage that's built into that and I can't tell if that back portion where like the band is I can't tell if they extend to back there but just a cool production design note um, I really like the staging of this. I really like the design of this, this green, blue, all kinds of vertical lines, which we like to have for cinematography. I really like the way that they pulled that together. Nice Dutch angle again. Kind of makes it feel like a sinking ship. Cool. They're doing a lot with ripples in the choreography here. Nice a quiet moment on stage. Oh, that's hard to do, going slow-mo. Especially with the driving beat. We're gonna take that back 10 seconds. Uh, I just, well, actually probably 20 seconds. Um, I wanna just talk through the, what the camera is doing here with the cinematography, going from Dutch angles, which if you've watched many of my videos, you know how much I love them, but this off-center shot that sort of, uh, in Stranger, I had the theory that he's playing a character that stepped out of the water or off a ship into a new land. Well, this has that same kind of rock the ship feeling that things are off center and it shows the distance between them really well while also being able to show the ripples and the timing of what the choreography is doing. And then they start moving in slow motion. Well, you'd think at that point that maybe the, the drums would go into halftime, but instead they're still doing that. They're still going full speed. And so it's it's creating a dissonance visually with what we're hearing and that's really fascinating to watch so just look at this again so you can hear the it gets pulled away from the compression again right here especially with that hi-hat rolling across the top it creates that kind of buzz in our heads cool Oh, that's it? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I thought there was going to be more singing there. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you. It's just, it's what he does. He just surprises you with things. Like, that is not what I would have expected him to do that's not what i would have expected a song called fly away to do i was thinking something more in like the love like tired swans type vein but i really really enjoyed that it's more of a chill um kind of late 80s early 90s style feel for him but again he just shows his range with being able to sing anything and make it very cool and actually getting to see him perform with dancers and interact with dancers is is getting to see him interact with with, uh, with a song in a new way um, it's getting to see him interact with a camera in a new way. Because once you start adding people on stage, it's particularly the people that are directly interacting with the song. Think about, um, I'll leave a caption. I can't remember what the name of the song is off the top of my head, but the little girl where she came out and kind of circled around him. It's so interesting to see how he shifts his performance to work with other people that are also sharing the stage with him and sharing the moment with him. Because as much as the song is Dimash Fly Away, their names aren't attached, there's a lot of respect that he's giving the dancers here and making sure that they get their their time in the light. And that's really, really wonderful to see and it's so respectful for him um, toward those other artists for him to do that. So uh, he's just really, really great. I, I really like this new vibe from him. I really enjoy the more chill, like, lo-fi pop, uh, which again, I just never would have 
ever in a million years expected to hear from him. So it's cool. It's cool to hear him take on new challenges and, and push himself. Even though his voice wasn't necessarily pushed as much, he did some really um, unconventional things with it, pulling back as the chorus came in and going into a pianissimo and then, uh, you know, gradually building up the volume on that and the power on that. But letting the song just exist and letting the dancers perform with it, he again does the truth of the song as it asks him to. And that's what's so wonderful about him. So I liked that a lot. Thanks for recommending. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll stick around for more uh, in the future. But until then, please fix your posture, drink lots of water, please take care of yourselves. And if you're anywhere near Pullman, Washington, please consider coming to see Sunset Boulevard from September 30th to October 10th at the Regional Theater of the Palouse. I play Joe Gillis. It's a lot of fun. The cast is great. Everything's great. It's going to be great. Maybe I'll see you there. But if not, I'll see you next time. Be well.